Citizen, welcome to Organ Donor Event. Bienvenue à ce don de la vie. <coughs> to welcome you in the most elegant fashion, Sir Squire Mower. Thank you very much. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I'd love to hear our national anthem. How about you? Please welcome Vivian Castillo. L'histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. Garde qui parraine, glorious and free. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. I think we live in a wonderful country, a wonderful yes, province, and a wonderful city. Woo! Don't you think, boys and girls? Yeah! Yes. And welcome oh, yeah. to your Len Campbell Day here in the nation's capital. For those who you don't know and you've just wandered on to Parliament Hill, uh, Helen is a wonderful girl from Ottawa who's now living in Toronto waiting for a double lung transplant. She is on the waiting list. She's being patient. She's being over and above kind to help out others who need organ donation. And so she started a campaign a few months ago. She got Justin Bieber to retweet the heck out of her. I don't know anybody else who could do that. I've tried. It doesn't work. Then she gets on the Ellen DeGeneres show. How about that? And while doing all of this, she is, of course, trying to stay positive. And I went to visit her last weekend, and she is just an angel. I love her to pieces. And if you ever have a chance to follow her on Twitter, send her a message. She'll respond, and she's just great. She'll put you in the best mood ever. Yeah, give her a round of applause one more time because I believe she's watching right now via Skype. Uh, we have a few uh, speeches we'd like to get to here today. Uh, and he is actually holding the torch right now. He'd like to say a few words. Sorry. Uh, his wife passed away, I believe it was two years ago. Oh, sorry, 11 months ago. My, my apologies, 11 months ago. Uh, she helped save five individuals. How about that? His wife's name was Betty. Please welcome Mr. Albright. for me to be here today. I want to especially welcome my colleagues from the House of Commons. Thank you so much for all of you for taking the time to come out today. When George called me a number of months back and asked if the Torch of Life could be run in Betty's honor through Ontario this, this year, obviously I had no hesitation in giving that permission to do it in Betty's honor. She deserved every honor I could possibly give her. Eleven months ago, roughly, we were in the hospital considering our options and it became very clear that medical personnel informed us that there was literally no hope for Betty's survival. Then the decision comes what to do about organ donation. Because Betty and I had had that conversation, because Betty had signed her organ donation card, the decision was made easier. It wasn't easy. There were still many other decisions that had to be made in that process. But my children and I unanimously agreed that Betty's organs would be donated. Through that time, the Trillium Gift of Life Network worked with us in a very compassionate way to help us make that decision. And I can't say enough positive about the Trillium Gift of Life Network. Thank you to each person who was involved in that. But yeah, give them a good round of applause. <laughs> Betty passed away on May the 4th. And while our hearts are still broken and we grieve deeply, there are two things that give us hope to go on. One is our definite hope in the person of Jesus Christ, his resurrection, which we're going to celebrate next week. The second is the ability that we had to donate Betty's organs 
and we know today that five people are enjoying life. Some of them uh, probably would not be living anymore had those organs not been donated. So those two things remove much of the pain of having lost a loved one. So I just can't say enough about how important it is that you take time to be, go on to beadonor.ca. You see the placards around here, beadonor.ca. Register your intent and have the discussion with your family so that if, and we all hope we'll live to be 95, but some of us won't, if you're faced with a situation like Betty and I were, that there will be very little question and you can have the hope of knowing that you have also been instrumental in extending life, a fuller and richer life to others who may need those organs. And we know many, including Helen and including including uh, Gary Keller right here in, on, on Parliament Hill who needs help right now. So please consider, not consider, do it. Register today. And my thanks again. Thanks again to George and the uh, Torch of Life team. These guys are incredible. They put a lot of work into it. And my hopes and prayers uh, with the Campbell family that a, a donor will be found very shortly. Uh, you are certainly in our prayers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, you know this is a big campaign and a big deal when you can get all three parties to come down here together and not be fighting with each other. Well, that's a good day, right? So our first uh, speaker from the concert. Four, four, I'm sorry, four parties, I apologize. I voted for you. I just, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'd like to uh, bring to... They all see that, yeah. I'd like to bring to the microphone from the Conservative Party, uh, Mr. Mark Adler. He's not here? Oh, he's not here. Okay. Okay. Is there anybody from the Conservative Party? Well, anybody else? Yes, but... Well, I'd like to give you my political views. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's okay then? Okay. The conservatives are represented? Okay, that's good then. I just wanted to give everybody equal time. Uh, so now from the Liberal Party, Member of uh, Parliament, uh, Kirsty Duncan. Is she here? There she comes. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hello everyone, today we remember our friend Harold and his loving wife uh, Betty of four years. And we remember the Campbell family and we're all hoping and praying for your daughter. Um, we want to thank George Marcello and his wonderful team and these extraordinary children. <laughs> their tireless efforts to raise the torch of life to give the gift of life um, and we are thankful that organ transplantation has gone from an experimental treatment to the hope for thousands of Canadians and I know what it's like to face this uh, to face a devastating disease where there isn't cure where there isn't to help and what you're all doing here today is raising awareness so no family has to face this alone. And for all those who are facing this, we wish you love, strength, and our prayers. Thank you. All right, uh, our next speaker from the NDP, Peter Stouffer. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of uh, Thomas Mulcair and our party, in fact, of all of us in the House of Commons and in the Senate, thank you all very much for being here. You always ask yourself, what can one person do? Well, Betty, even though I'm not sure she wouldn't want to be with us now, uh, and Harold and the family decided that five other people should have the right to live under the grace of our land and our God in that regard. So if one person could do that, imagine what you could do. And we're encouraging each and every single one of you to sign the card. Because the, the reality is there's an awful lot of us here right now that one day may require an organ transplant themselves. And wouldn't it be nice to know that you wouldn't have to, to wait and wonder if indeed it was going to happen. 
And so, Harold, and to George, and to each and every one of you, I also want to say a special hello to the town crier. Coming from Nova Scotia, that's a big thing down there, buddy. Thank you very much for being here, sir. But to each and every one of you, thank you for being here, especially to the young children. It always says, what can the youth do? By being here and the members you are, you're showing us, uh, the adults of this country, what we should be doing when it comes to organ donations. So please, as Harold says, do it. Sign up, be a donor. The life you save may be a relative, may be a friend, and one day maybe it will be yourself in those shoes. So God bless you to the memory of Betty and to the folks here as well. Hopefully that answer will, you'll get the phone call very, very soon and be able to live a very happy and productive life. And God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all very much for coming out today. Thank you. All right. Um, I would like to introduce uh, a lady who uh, is actually part of the uh, community where the Campbells live. Uh, she's our MPP. She's a wonderful lady. Please welcome Lisa McLeod to the microphone. Lisa. Thanks very much. Uh, may I first just say thank you to Jeff Mahler and Hot 89.9 for the outstanding work that they've done in promoting organ donation and the plight of Helene Campbell. Um, Jeff, whenever you take on a cause, you make sure our whole city is aware of it. And for that, we are all very grateful. Thank you. Uh, if I may, uh, just say thank you to all of you for being here today. And I'd like to make a special mention of uh, the Ottawa Centre MP who's here, Paul Dewar. It's been a heck of a week for you. It's very nice that you were able to make it here, sir, right in the heart of your, uh, in your riding. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been uh, with the Living Green Ribbon for about six years now. And uh, I can tell you, some years it's tougher than others to try and get the message out. But uh, through our friend Helene and her parents, who have been very gracious because I know they've been inundated uh, with international press, but we have done something amazing here by supporting her in this city. And we know that people across uh, not only our province, but uh, throughout the world, are now talking about the importance of organ donation. Now, a few months ago, I guess it would be, be now, uh, Helene came to visit me at Queen's Park when it wasn't sitting. And I brought her into the chamber. And I let her sit in, was it Tim Hudak's seat or Dalton McGinty's? Uh, she sat in both seats, and so did her father. And it just shows you, I think, that uh, we have an open, accessible parliaments and legislatures, and we talk about this issue an awful lot. Unfortunately, on the same night that he was re-elected, my friend Harold uh, had to go through a, a very significant tragedy. And a few days after he was re-elected, which should have been one of the happiest nights of his life, he was going through a tragedy. And he and his family have spoken about the importance of organ donation. And he's here, and I might say with incredible strength, to carry on that message and Betty's legacy. And I want to thank you for that leadership and strength. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue this on. Uh, we have our town crier has been with us for very many years. I know Councillor Doug Thompson, who's representing our mayor, Jim Watson, is here today. We do this every year. We're going to have to continue to do this every year. You can't let up on awareness. The minute you stop talking about it is the minute people forget about it. And thankfully, we've got Helene Campbell, and through the grace of God, her message to tell people that this is very important. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you can join me doing one thing here today. Who's on Facebook? <laughs> you to do is I want you to tweet and I want you to Facebook be a donor.ca. Can everybody do that for me? Yeah. Can everybody do that for Elaine? Yeah. Can everybody do that for Betty? Yeah. All right, we're going to be, I think, a, a big, strong army in, in, in this issue, and I think that we are going to make sure that there is a living green ribbon. And I want to say thank you so much to the organizers and George for putting this together, and another big thank you to Jeff Muller because this wouldn't happen without you. Thank you, Lisa. That was, by the way, was her first time on a microphone. Could you tell? It was, she was so comfortable. All right. Uh, I believe we have a letter that we'd like to read. All right. Come on up. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike Lake, my colleague from uh, Alberta, will uh, read a letter on behalf of the Prime Minister. Well, thank you very much. And uh, it is an absolute honor to be here uh, standing with the Campbell family with, uh, with my good friend Harold Albrecht and uh, uh, to read this letter from the Prime Minister. 
I am delighted to extend my warmest personal greetings to all those attending the Torch of Life Relay on Parliament Hill, organized by the Step-by-Step -Step Organ Transplant Association. I was pleased to learn that your Ottawa Relay stop is dedicated to the memory of Mrs. Betty Albrecht, wife of Kitchener Conestoga MP Harold Albrecht. Betty would undoubtedly have been moved by the compassionate young people working to call attention to the importance of organ donation. Today you are supporting the thousands of Canadians waiting for an organ or tissue donation. They wait in hope for the, for the gift of restored health. Torch of Life is a laudable initiative founded by George Marcello, a transplant survivor, who has made it his life's mission to raise awareness of organ and tissue, don tissue donation and to offer others the same chance he received to enjoy a healthy future with friends and loved ones. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I commend the Step-by-Step -Step Organ Transplant Association and all the organizers of this inspiring campaign. I salute the students participating in this year's relay and offer my best wishes for success in your goal of registering Ontarians as organ and tissue donors. Sincerely, sincerely the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada. All right, we have one more speech, George, before I give you the microphone, okay? Uh, Elizabeth May from the Green Party, come on up and say a few words. I was busy tweeting. I got caught off guard. Hey, um, I just want to say how great it is to see the energy and enthusiasm. I've also, one of my, one of the things I'd say has been a privilege and an honor since being elected is to become a friend of Harold's, and I'm honored to join in the Torch of Life Relay in memory of his wonderful wife, Betty. And I want to say, this is not federal jurisdiction, and this is probably a really crazy bad thing for someone at the federal level to do. But, looking at the provincial leadership here, I think we ought to talk about maybe reverse onus. You only sign your driver's license if you don't want to donate your organs, which would clear up things a lot. Right now, Canada rates as one of the least uh, engaged countries in terms of the levels of organ donation uh, availability. We really have a problem that we're not... There's great spirit here, and goodness knows everybody here is doing what you can. But maybe there's more we could do by turning that around and saying, you only sign your card if you want to say to the health authorities, no. Otherwise, you're making a statement that you're ready, that you know that you want to help. And that extra step might just make more organs available. My daughter's best friend, when she was in grade 10, got an organ donation of a heart. And it gave her a new life. We need to make sure that people who need their lives helped and saved with the miracles of modern science are not held back because we just don't know how to get the right organ to the right person in time. So thank you all for being here. God bless you. Keep up the torch of life. Way to go, Jeff. All right. Uh, after talking to all four parties, by the way, there's a, it's a no homework Friday, just so you guys know. Uh, yeah. Very generous of them, absolutely. It's going to be signed in the house later on. All right, so uh, I'm going to hand things over to the Torch of Life main man himself, George, let's give George the biggest round of applause for organizing all of this today. Let's give the mother a big hand. Right from the beginning, putting up with me. Uh, so I'm glad to see Mr. Dewar is here. Thank you so much, my good friend Mr. Dewar. And my good friend Kirstie Duncan who also joined. And Elizabeth Mays, thank you for making this an all-party initiative. Now that we've shown that Canada can do this, we might make, maybe make an example for the world. But we actually have a student here uh, that's from Palestine uh, that is that example for the world. And his name is Khaled Khatib. And he's going to share his story very briefly in Arabic, and then I'll translate it in English. يتبرع يعني في أطفال بحاجة لأعضاء وجد يعني بدهم أطفال بدهم أعضاء فأبوي يقرر يعني من يساعدهم يعني ما يترددش إنه يساعد هاي الأطفال لأنه بحاجة هاي الأعضاء يعني بوقفين الموت يعني فجينا هون على كندا ساعدناه إنه أنقذنا خمس أشخاص خمس أطفال بس هم بصحة جيدة فأنا هون في كندا برعاية ستيب باي ستيب من جورج 
عشان هيك راح يعني راح افر في انتاري كلياتها واحاول اني اجمع قدر يعني مليون انتاري في كندا وعشان هنا كمان اللي مكامبل انا هون في كندا وراح اجيب لها يعني اللي بدها اياها واتمنى يعني انتم كمان تساعدونا وتروح على تورش اوف لايف وتسجلوا وتكونوا معنا وشكرا لكم ثانك يو ثانك يو in 2005, in his home of uh, Janine, Palestine, uh, his young brother, 11-year-old brother, Ackman, was uh, shot accidentally by an Israeli soldier. Uh, after a day being in a brain-dead uh, state, the family made a decision to donate Ackman's organs to seven Israeli children. Uh, five of them are alive today. has gone uh, worldwide as becoming ambassadors for organ and tissue donations in many, many countries of the world. And we're really privileged and honored uh, to have Halet with us uh, to carry the torch, which he started March 2nd in Kenora, and God willingly, we'll, we will finish in June 19th. And he's carrying it uh, for Elaine Campbell, uh, and he met with her before we started. He gave her a nice teddy bear, which I know she still has, and, and told her, I'm going to carry this torch for you. And also, he was very honored to carry the torch in memory of Miss Betty Albright. And so with that, Hallett is determined uh, to finish the campaign, but we also found out that he has a love of hockey. He never seen ice in his uh, life, and while we were in Dryden, uh, he, Frank, our, our, uh, our driver and also a bodybuilder and hockey player, has been training Hallett. And now every time we pass in a, a community, the first thing Hallett asks is, is there an ice rink in that community? So is there an ice rink in Ottawa? Yeah. Oh, no. well, there's an ice rink here. Of course, I love Ottawa. So, um, you know, let's show the world what Canada can do. Our goal is to register one million people in Ontario. Hopefully, we can do and begin our Canada, Cross Canada campaign. And let's make Canada number one when it comes to organ and tissue donation. And show the world, and show example. Thank you, and God bless you. All right, guys, I also want to uh, thank Private Zach Dwyer from Cameron Highlanders. Great job with the bagpipe. So obviously I want to thank all the officials that are here today, all the media that is here today, and all of you here today. It was a very special day. We had Helen Campbell on this morning on the new Hot 89.9. It has been a very emotional week for her, a very emotional day for her, and uh, seeing her family here today as well. It's just a great culmination of everything that has happened thus far but we once again will not stop we're going to do what Lisa said, everybody's going to go to their Facebook, they're going to go to their Twitter send a smoke signal to your grandparents I don't care what you have to do but be a donor.ca do it as soon as you leave the hill today guys have a great weekend and enjoy the Juno Awards, thanks guys Watch your step, boys and girls. Watch your step. Thank you. I want to get the no, other side. Other side. Thank you very much. That's awesome.